What's up guys, welcome back, my name is Steve. Thank you for joining us and before we begin, I am doing a Jordan 13 Court Purple giveaway on this channel. It runs through February 15th, still plenty of time to enter. That will be linked at the end for you to check out as well as down in the description below, so stay tuned for that. And so let's talk about the sneaker that we are talking about today. This one falls into that kind of Gorp Core territory. If you're not familiar, Gorp Core, of course, the technical outerwear type of aesthetic that people are going for these days. You know, the type of jackets, pants, hats, and shoes that you can scale Everest in, but you're going to more or less just wear it to the mall to try to flex on everybody else. That is what we're talking about today, or at least that's where these shoes kind of fit in. Although they don't have that black on gray, more minimalist aesthetic that most Gorp Core stuff is found in, th these have some really playful colors and are pretty dope. They are an Adidas sneaker that is relatively well known in terms of the hiking world, but this is a collaboration between two very known brands slash people in the sneaker world with Adidas for this shoe right here, Sean Weatherspoon, of course, and Atmos. And uh, probably a dozen sneaker models have popped into your mind already if you are familiar with these guys. Collectively, there have been some very dope sneaker releases from these two brands with collaborators like Nike and Adidas and so on throughout the years. Today, we are talking about the Adidas Super Turf Adventure, Sean Weatherspoon by Atmos collaboration. And yeah, you kind of see where we're going with this. Before we get into it though, let's first take a closer look. All right guys, now that you've seen a closer look of these bad boys right here, welcome back to the channel. My name is Steve. To the returning viewers and subscribers, it's always good to see your smiling faces. And of course, if you are new here, consider joining the fam. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. We just passed 5,000, which is like, mind blowing to me and I appreciate each and every last one of you guys that are along for the ride. Of course, subscribing is one of the steps to get in on that Jordan 13 Court Purple giveaway. So you might as well knock that out right now. And then at the end of this video, you can click the link for that Jordan 13 Court Purple video where the rest of the steps will be outlined. Very simple. And I want you guys to get your chance at a free pair of dope sneakers. Now, these ones though, let's talk about these right here. Like I said, this is a hiking model from Adidas, the Super Turf Adventure. A very capable, very dope model in and of itself, but then is elevated to another level with Sean Witherspoon and of course Atmos doing the collaboration on it here. And there are a lot of added elements. You're going to get everything that's great about the Super Turf Adventures and then some very notable add-ons, which you can kind of see the most prominent one right there. Let's begin with the actual model itself, more or less the upper here, done in these really nice colors. You got a really nice orange going on here, some gray, some natural kind of neutral off-whites happening, crispy white midsole, which I really like. Nice little checked speckled pattern here. Little, little black cement-esque uh, right there you can see here. And then apparently this is all a vegan upper construction. So vegan leather, recycled materials, you got some nice corduroy happening along the toe box going beneath everything else. Lots of layered panels and nice detailing on this upper. I'm really fond of that. And overall, it's doing a lot, but also coming together really well and it just looks good. So as busy as it can be, as you dissect it to the eye and on foot and everything, it doesn't give you that feeling, which is a mark of what I think are great designers. They can take something very complex like like this, put the right colors together, create the right palette, and it just all works despite having a lot of it going on. So that's a credit to Atmos and of course, Sean Witherspoon. They really pulled this off and I will be one of the first people to kind of defect away from the busier, more overt sneakers. And I've said that many times on this channel. So for this to work for me, in my opinion, my humble non-expert opinion, this is just pulled off incredibly well and it's a mark of why certain designers are who they are and get the hype and the love that they do. These guys did a fantastic job on this. There of course is a lot of insulation and waterproofing elements or elemental protection that you get with this shoe that comes standard as well as some added things here. One of my favorite things I really like about this is on the tongue. So the tongue has a sealed zipper that goes all the way up and for more of casual use you can undo that and then behind each tongue on the respective shoes you have Atmos and then you have the Sean Witherspoon logo embroidered in there. Really nice touch, very dope. But it also looks really good zipped up. You can see it's a sealed zipper then with the rip stop on the outside side. Very durable, very tough. It's going to wear well. It's going to keep your foot drier, warmer, longer. Very nice, very dope. Especially, you know, right now in, in Michigan, we're getting like two to four inches today. It's just, it's nonsense, but I could totally go out in these and be comfortable and warm at least for a, a, probably a decently extended period of time. Next, let's go to the midsole.
midsole. So this is an Adiprene midsole and I really, really like the feel of this. It's the perfect amount of give with the foam. It's not too much like an Ultra Boost and it's not too stiff. This has that perfect balance of give and stability that for me, putting this on and walking around, I already know I'll be able to go the distance in this. It's just not too hard, not too soft. It's just right in the middle there. And it's exactly what you would be looking for in terms of a hiking shoe because you are going to be doing multiple elevation changes, uneven terrain, lots of steps. That's what you need. You can't do something like that in a pair of Ultra Boosts that are too squishy and you don't want something that's too hard because that's just going to be rough on the bottoms of your feet. Now the outsole itself, very chunky, knobby looking, almost like off-road tire type of tread you have happening here. Very similar to the Mountain Fly Lows that I just recently reviewed. So that tells you right then and there that this is going to be very durable and it's going to give you the traction needed on the trails and it just feels great. This shoe really does feel good on foot and as far as fit goes, I went with my true size. I found it to be nice and roomy but not too roomy which is good because then you can throw on some bigger thicker pairs of socks for the colder moments and then it gets you a more nice comfortable fit for the warmer months when you're just wearing a regular crew sock or even an ankle sock so fit went true to size the platform feels nice it's not too narrow it's fantastic and like I said super super comfortable one of the more comfortable pairs of shoes that doesn't have that over-the-top squishiness feel to it that I've had in a long time in sticking to the vegan theme or the more sustainable theme that they've gone through with this sneaker you can see on the insole here you get that cork insole on the right foot you have the Sean Witherspoon logo and then you have the Atmos logo on the other foot and then onto the lacing system so this is kind of billed as a quick responsive lacing system and I have to agree it's very easy to unlace and relace this shoe and it's very easy to tighten them up and get them going nice bungee style laces I love these laces they feel good they look good of course they speak really well with the orange coloring to the rest of this orange upper love the way that looks and then of course that brings us to this piece right here this big pouchy thing which is removable so let me just get that right out the way you don't have to wear this with the shoes at all times it just connects via the laces and like I said these laces are quick to unlace so you just rip these out take this thing off and you're good to go it's pretty dope though it's a nice little kind of maybe valuables type of pouch I mean you could put other things in there but you know for your keys and maybe a few credit cards your ID you can slide that into here when you're going out on the trails or doing whatever and it's got a nice zipper enclosure here it's got a couple loops here a little key ring for you to add extra stuff onto and kind of a cool feature which I had to go online to figure this out because when I first found these I, I was kind of like okay I don't know what you do with this but inside the pouch here you see there's a bit of a lanyard and now I call it a lanyard knowing exactly what to do with it now you can clip this right to the top there's a little triangle right here clip that you can wear it around your neck you can wear this on your belt however you want to clip this to your outerwear jacket or whatever million pockets you probably have in your Arcturix pants or jackets you can remove this and put it somewhere else on your body kind of like this and it can be the little pouch that holds your valuables like we said so that's a really cool feature because sometimes this can feel a little kind of just out there and designed for design sakes but you can really tell that this was all thought through so in terms of the resale and the hype on these sneakers I was really surprised to see a Sean Witherspoon by Atmos collab with Adidas to kind of just fly completely under the radar the reason why I knew this right off the bat is because this was on the Adidas confirmed app and I won so if I win the raffle guys it ain't a hype sneaker, okay? Because I never get the W. But I'm pleased because this was a $160 retail sneaker that feels like it's worth a lot more than that. You've, with everything that you get with this shoe and the comfort, the durability, the performance of this, it all comes together and feels like a much more premium shoe than that price point would suggest. And the price is really just staying there. The resale is there's, barely, there's basically no resale for these. So if this is something that you're into, absolutely take advantage. I'm sure there are some other colorways that are more hyped than this one but at the moment these are a steal you're getting them at retail or maybe below retail you might even be able to catch these on sale at some point at some online retailers which is crazy to me because this is such a dope sneaker and so that does it for me guys on this video of the adidas super turf adventure sean witherspoon by atmos collaboration a very dope sneaker flying under the radar let me know what you think about these down in the comments below of course i will definitely hit you back i am the ceo of responding to comments and if you haven't yet consider joining the fam we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers your likes, comments, subscription, engagements, all that is what makes the sneaker channel great. It's not me, it's you, and I appreciate each and every last one of you. Of course, the links down below, helpful links, links to cop, protective shoe spray, cleaning kiss to keep your kicks clean. All of that can be found down in the description, so please check those out. It helps out the channel, and I appreciate it. And like I said, Jordan 13 Core Purple giveaway going now through February 15th. So if you're not watching this in the future past that date, get in on the giveaway. Link is coming up in about 10 seconds here. And with all that being said, guys, hope you have a good day, good evening, good night, whenever you're watching this. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.